and the order of play on court two, session three. It's uh, Denmark three, Russia one, with our last match for you then. Everything so far has gone the distance in this third tie of the day on court two. And we're going to be treated to a last women's singles, Natalia Kothro against Anastasia Fustinskaya of Russia, just a young 17-year-old. Ranked 246th in the world. It's been a heady uh, year Russia for her. She was ranked 650th a year or so ago. And again, it's the Danes out first, keen to get on with the contest. And here comes the youngster, Pustinskaya, at the back in the blue, representing Russia. Now it's going to be interesting to see how she fares against a very experienced Dane, ranked 38th in the world. A tall, imposing figure of Natalia Kokoro, 5'11", 22 years old, or 1.8 metres if you like that former. She's played 10 matches this year, has the day, and won 6, lost 4. Has been as high as 35 in the world in April of this year, just a month or so ago. So she's just three off of that career high, the tall, statuesque Dane in red. Let's Call listen into the toss. You want the toss? First meeting between these two players, they've never met before. So, what of this young 17 year old then? She travels a lot, plays a lot of tournaments around Europe, and uh, she's busy with her studies a lot as well whenever she goes home or around the tour. She's always got the books out. She was the runner up in the European under 17 event in 2017 in Prague to Sofia Grundvig of Denmark in the final. So they'll have done their homework and uh, I'm sure they'll know a little about this young player. And talking of young, Natalia Kokrod, it's, uh, well, she's only 22 years of age, but still five years senior to her opponent today. As I say, just three off that career high ranking for the Dane. Anastasia Pustinskaya from Samara. Played 11 matches this year, won eight, lost three. She was as high as, well, she's as high currently as 15th in the world a month or so ago in the junior rankings. In the women's singles, she's uh, played the, made the quarterfinals of the Turkish International last year and was round of 16 white knights as well as we say hello to our umpire and service judge so she's uh, pretty much halved her women's singles ranking so obviously a young talent that these guys the coaching staff are very keen to promote and give experience to so a tie like this would be just the ideal moment for her to really make a name of herself really this would be a heady win should she oust somebody a top 40 player like Natalie Kokro Kim Nilsson has been really focused along with Jack of Hoy throughout this tie to just try and pick any little tactical nuances and edges that he can against their Russian opponents today. They've done a great job, as have the players, of course. They've got to go out there and actually execute the skills. A little bit of shadow badminton for the tall, imposing Dane. She's an attacking player by nature, but she can get rather nervous. Kochlo. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Russia, represented by Anastasia Pustinskaya. And on my left, Denmark, represented by Natalia Kokru. Denmark is so long or fly. Huge moment for the youngster at the top of your picture. How will she fare against this player of vast experience from Denmark? Four titles to her name.
The latest came in the Czech International, where she ousted Mette Pulsen to win gold. 21-10, 21-15, that was in uh, 2016 she won that title. Also won the International in it Italian International, the Orleans International, and uh, the Irish Open as well. As we head upstairs early in this match, it's only the second point. A long way out, that one. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. One all play. Good leave. Two, one. Well, there was no call. So are we going to have another challenge? Cockrod believes it was wide. Okay. Three, one. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. No. Play. Core stands. Or well, she may be a sprightly blur of blue, the Russian, but that was exemplary. Two, Straight drop off the backhand from Natalia. Oh, that's nice. The roundhead smash from, from the top draw there from... Pustinskaya. Two. High skill level shot that. On court one, Thomas Cup Group B. Between Korea and Thailand. Third single. Again, Five. no call. Two. Hence the roar of delight from the youngster. Six, two. Seven, two. Well, it's been a nervy start from Kochro. Putinska spreading the play so well, so but not having her own three, way there. Seven. That was immaculate defence from the Dane. Great point from both. Play. Good end range control from Kochro. Korea, represented by Ha Yong Hun. Yes. She's fairly vocal, so, isn't so she, as most youngsters eight, are in this three. sort of step up. It's good, she wants to be recognised and she's trying to make a name for herself here. Good body language from both. Good leave, only just, but it did spill over the back line. No challenge from the Dane.
กรรมการกำกับการส่งลูก g ีเจจากประเทศออสเตรเลียเจนส So feeling the heat, c o c h r o right now against this plucky youngster. Eleven three. It's a poor leave as well. That'll compound her misery. Eleven three. p u s t i n s k a breaks to the front at the mid-game interval. She's got an eight-point cushion. Malutin, full of advice for the youngster. I think she's lost her towel. It must have been sort of slid down the kit box. It's irretrievable. So uh, just calling for another one. So nervous moments this for the uh, experienced top 40 player here, right under pressure against the player. Just inside the top 250, there's a chasm between them on the world rankings in that regard, and that would make any player quite nervous with the level of expectation of a nation on her shoulders. Okay, they've got the win; they're three-one up, but still, you know, she doesn't want to go losing to a youngster. Eleven three. Play. Three. Muffled applause from somebody in the crowd. It's all gone quiet in Camp Denmark right now. They need to really get behind their player. An igniter. Now, is this where it starts to turn around? Finish. Five, twelve. Got around that so well. Great pronation of the wrist. This young lady that's had a, a run of five consecutive points already in this opener. But you do sense now that Kochlo is Seven, finding her way 12. back into this, having, uh, having taken an earlier wrong turn early in the game. So it's over. 13 7. She's okay. Stumbled back. So Sometimes so you can land awkwardly on your cockets, eight, but she's okay. 13. She's uh, young and sprightly, and they tend to bounce back pretty quickly from a little stumble like that. But it's a little unnerving. A little unsettling as well when that happens. But she's all right. So the. Uh, Court attendance been on. He's mopped the sweat off, sweat off the court, Blake. and we will resume. Nine, Natalia, Cochro just uh, upping the ante somewhat now. 
she was 3-12 down. She's done very, very well here in this uh, passage of play. Desperate to get back on terms against this courageous youngster in blue. 10, 13. And you do kind of sense that perhaps her game is starting to unravel a little. Oh, that is a gorgeous cross net. 11, 13. Look at the body language now. Cockerell is marching around with confidence and the head is slightly sunken of the young Russian teen. So from 3.12 to 12.13, Cockerell doing a great job in turning this round and is compounding pressure onto the young Russian mind can she stabilize her head's like a washing machine right now spinning around that was a poor leave on the return of serve and these points are reeling away really fast away from Pustinska she needs to steady down slow down 14, Natalia Kokro is uh, compounding the pressure so she's just on a run of six consecutive points now. So it's over. 14. Well, oh. that's where the run stops, suggests this young player. Oh, she's adamant that she wants 15, to challenge. 14. But the umpire's called the score. Oh, no, okay. So, uh, what's happening? Yep, it's a challenge. Yeah, the lines judge set in. But that's why Pustinska wants to challenge. We are going for a challenge. We are going upstairs. It will be Hawkeye, Hawkeye employed to decide the outcome of this point in this critical stage of the opening game. Just a, a chance for Pustinska to catch a breath and halt the massive momentum that the Dane has engineered. Now that was in as well. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 15, 14, play. Sixteen, fourteen. Well, where the youngster 17, is 14. leaving inappropriately, Kochrol is uh, bang on with that one. Just as you think the tables have turned monumentally, so, so is there going to be a 15, 17. turning of the tide again back in the Russians' favour? Oh, there's more quality on everything that the Dane is doing right now. So, this so is so excellent badminton 18, from her. 15 just to keep the pressure on. She's taking time and space away Natalia. from Natalia. Pustinska. No delay. No delay. Wonderful cross drop again that finds the line. And that is beautiful badminton. Nineteen fifteen. If you are just joining us, she was 12-3 up in this opening game. And has just won three points since.
service over 16 19 Again, the pace overwhelming. So four game point opportunities then for Natalia so Kokro. 20, game point 16. Well, despite a very strong start, it was the experience of the Dane, Natalia Kokro, coming to the fort to secure the opening game, 21 points to 16. That was a terrific turnaround from Team Denmark. So, how will young Pustinska respond Second to what game. happened, having had such a heady nine-point lead in that opening game, playing some sparkling badminton from the off, but she couldn't sustain. Now, has the bubble burst, One, or is there no. another surge to come from her? There were really encouraging signs initially, and uh, the Russians would have been really excited by what the badminton she was bringing, but was it just a belief issue? Who knows? But somehow, her game unraveled at the sharp end of that so it's over. opening One game. Off. I like it when she's fist pumping and sort of, you know, yelling positive things. It's a good thing. It's imposing. So it's over. Two, one. And should we forget, she's only 17 years old, and this is a, a, a very tough arena to work within. You're under a lot of pressure against the very best in the world. Over. Well, it was called wide. Two off. The Dane not happy. The, the score has been called too late. Can't challenge. That's the rule. Play. Let's see it again. See if we can glean anything from our replay. Yeah, just wide, I'd say. Three, two. So, Pustinska breaks to the front. For the second time in the match. Court. So it's over. Three all. This is good body language. I like so this from the Russian. Four, exactly what she needs. She's got to get in the face of the more experienced player trying to unnerve her, unsettle her. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but she's got that beautiful backhand block and some cross net brilliance. Cochro. Lovely reverse slice as well, and a, a roar back into a young opponent's face as well. <laughs> Whatever you can do. Yeah, she's just got that ability, that experience to live at a higher tempo on a more regular basis. And it just puts the youngster uh, a little uncomfortable, a little off balance. You saw here a bit of a stumble here in the uh, recovery clear. Just used to high octane badminton on a regular basis. Yeah, it's imposing. The physicality, she's sort of Seven, bullying her four. way through these kind of points now. And feeling a lot more settled as she just gets confirmation from her camp that she's doing exactly the right stuff. Luck as well never goes a miss. Well, though this is all good experience, the youngster just buckling under the weight of shot from Natalia Kochro right now. And does the uh, on the turn, it's the Dane in front by seven points, 11 points to four, and a game to the good. seconds court to 20 seconds Well, after that mini setback at the very start of the opening game, Natalia Koch Rose never really looked back 
There's been some glimmers of fight back from the youngster, the 17-year-old Pustinskia. But whatever happens, it'll go into the experience bank for the lady in blue, and it'll do her the power of good, and she will no doubt take this and move forward with her game, accruing several of the skills that she'll have learnt, no doubt. But remember, whatever happens here, sterner tests await because the third seeds in Korea in this Group C will be uh, up for these guys over the next couple of days. China, of course, have kind of owned this event since they arrived with a bang in 1984. Only on three occasions have they not win, won the title. They've won it every time since. And uh, the last edition in Kunshan comfortably defended their title, taking out Korea in that final, 3-1. So, so, A rare smash error there six, from Kochlo. It's a little advice from her coaching bench. She returns to duty. Cochlear. Just missing that one. Eight, Good uh, perseverance from Pustinska. Wonderful block. Great control off that forehand straight block. Really well done. And a nice reaction as well. That'll buoy her, you'd imagine. Now, can she build from here? Or is it too little too late? Yes! Yes! Yep, hands down from the Lions judge. And we're going up for a challenge again from the Dane. Natalia, challenges, call in. Yeah. Good call, Lions judge. It was well in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Two in a row then from Pustinska. 11, 16. Good energy from her. I like this. Play. Good response. This is all good mental dynamics that bode well moving forwards into the senior game in a year or so's time. But again, it's the so long, languid limbs 17, of Natalia. Left. Kochro that serve her so well. There's easy power in that height that she has. Yeah. 
Jess Long over the back line. So she's won three from the last four points now. She's looking really stoked. Yes! <laughs> That's a poor leave from the lady in red. And credit to uh, Pustinska. She's really trying to get in the face of Cockro right now. Well, that's power is overwhelming at times. 18, 13. Okay. It's thunderous when she gets it right. And that was right at the body. So closing in on victory. Good play, accuracy, precision, pace 19, when she needs it. 13. They're delighted. She's done a good job, business-like, apart from a very slow start. It's been a, a pretty emphatic showing from the second half of the opening game onwards. Play. Out. 20. Max point, 13. Seven match point opportunities then for Natalia Kokro. Game. She only needs one of them. 21-13, she secures the second game and with it the match. So Denmark win the tie for matches to one and she's delighted <laughs> trying to just orchestrate Max won by Denmark. her teammates her fans 16, 21, so Denmark threw in straight games then in that uh, fifth match and winning the overall team match or tie by four rubbers to one so a good day for the team in red today. Denmark getting their opening match win. Sterner tests will await. It'll be Korea up next for both of these teams. For Russia, a spirited effort. Did well in the doubles using Kozitskaya with some left field thinking from the team of coaches. But for today, it's uh, all team Denmark. Uh, so that's how, uh, how it looks at the moment here at midnight local time on day one. There's confirmation of the Score the result 4 1 to Denmark over Russia. We saw a spirited initial win from Mia Blichfeld. And then a backing up, good doubles from the Danes as well. Then Lena Kershfeld to stick the knife in to get to the three, the vital three wins. And a good doubles from the Russians in Kozetskaya and Morozova. But then Natalia Kokro sealing the deal with the 4 1 win. So tomorrow we've another generous packed order of plate and uh, that's how the schedule on day one is confirmed. All three ties ending 4-1. That concludes all of our Thomas and Uber Cup action from day one here at the Impact Arena Bangkok. We'll leave you with some highlights. Thanks very much for your company. And, uh, do join us 9 a.m. local time tomorrow from myself, Paul Hand. It's goodbye for now.